Good morning. It's Tuesday, April 3rd. Our top story today is the vindication of Pacific Seafood in its antitrust suit, a uh, class action suit filed by some fishermen in Oregon. Uh, the case was absolutely a uh, victory for Pacific Seafood and I think for the entire seafood industry. Uh, the case has now been dismissed. What's going to happen is that um, Pacific has agreed through its insurance company uh, to pay attorney's fees, fees and the uh, plaintiffs in the suit uh, get no uh, monetary damages whatsoever, nor is there any uh, judicial um, interference or restructuring of Pacific. The antitrust laws are very serious, and the fact that this suit uh, developed the way it did uh, had the potential to have a major impact on the operations of uh, Pacific Seafood, uh, which is obviously now the largest uh, seafood processor on the U.S. West Coast. However, the discovery process showed that the things that the fishermen were fearful, in fact, were upside down. It was, in fact, Pacific's ability to leverage uh, its influence in the markets, to leverage its ability to supply fresh fish, to invest in developing new markets and, and new customers that has actually raised the price of many West Coast fish species and has actually returned more money to fishermen as a result. Uh, this was recognized by the judge and by both sides in the case in the settlement when they said that the discovery process had led the fishermen to understand that it was the marketing and investments by Pacific Seafood uh, that had resulted in the higher prices and the greater value for many of the species of fish that were at, 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 um, uh, discussed in the suit. Uh, so the, the plaintiffs were left to make the sort of very weak argument that somehow uh, Pacific had done really well on increasing the value of seafood in the West Coast, but that if only they had not engaged in these anti-competitive practices, they would have raised the value more. Uh, this was obviously not a winning argument. Now, these antitrust suits are very serious and the ramifications, ramifications can last for years. But the real takeaway of, of the dismissal of this suit is it's a vindication based on true discovery of the, of the fact that um, vertical integration and more sort of cooperation among harvesters and, and processors can result in a higher value of the fish species across the board. That's due to the ability of the larger companies uh, to um, get better contracts, to establish better customer relationships, uh, to maintain sort of long-term investments in, in markets. And we certainly see this in Alaska as well, where we have major companies that have secured significant uh, uh, market access for Alaska products. And in fact, it is their investments and their marketing that has driven some of the higher values that we see in, in seafood uh, in recent years. Uh, so this turns the conventional wisdom on its head. Uh, the way that we really get value in the seafood industry is even when there's independent ownership of vessels and processing companies and the marketing arms and so forth, the fact that these groups have to cooperate is vital for getting a bigger economic pie. And that is clearly what Pacific has demonstrated in this suit. It's what the judges accepted. It's what the plaintiffs accepted through the discovery process. And for that reason, it's a real milestone, I think, in the development of the West Coast seafood industry. In Lexington, Mass., this is John Sachs.